wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. Hey friends, welcome back. I am so glad that you are here with me. I am cleaning this kitchen area today. It definitely needs a little sprucing up. I need to put those dishes away off of the island and just pick up all of these things and just give it a nice wipe down. Also today, I will be cleaning my 21 month old's daughter car seat. And yes, so let's go ahead and get started with this mess in this kitchen. So right now I am watching one of my favorite YouTube moms right here. I don't have a whole lot of time to watch and keep up with my friends here on YouTube. So I remembered that I had an old iPad stashed away and I thought that would be absolutely perfect to just plug it up so I can listen to them, see what's new going on in their lives while I am cleaning. And so that is how I decided to keep up with my girls on here. I am cleaning out the trash cans right now. There's always little bits and pieces that fall out of the trash. And so I try to keep it, you know, pretty clean because they get gross pretty fast. So just say yes, choose to do whatever comes next. I really love the Febreze trash bags that smell like vanilla lavender. I feel like that particular scent is very hard to find, but if you come across it, pick it up. You will absolutely love it. It smells so, so good. I really feel like um, the scents of things are my stronger suit. So I'm telling you, if it does smell good, I promise you're gonna love it. So I'm definitely in the market for a new trash can. This one I have super glued it, did okay for a little while, but it is about to break in half. And you see like the results of the super glue job. <laughs> you could really see it on the bottom. I wasn't so concerned about the bottom, but seriously, it's time for this to go. Uh, and this one you can see, I don't think I super glued this one yet. I'm gonna go ahead and check on Amazon. I'm huge on Amazon. Anything in my house that you see, it's always linked in the description box below. Most of it is from Amazon, some are not. You just have to take a look if you ever see something you like, but I'm definitely in the market for a uh, new trash can. So I'm going in now and washing my 21 month old daughter's car seat. She tends to get car sickness very often and it has become more frequent now and it's almost every day. So I do wash this thing quite a bit, but I did call the doctor and in case it helps any of you all too, maybe you might have a baby that gets sick. The doctor told me to cover the window of the side that she is on so that she is not seeing things pass by because it balances her equilibrium and that causes her to become sick. He also told me to turn off the TV that she watches that is on the back of this seat on her side. So go ahead and turn her side off. He said for long car rides to give her infant Benadryl. And if none of that works at all, if it is possible, if I do not have pilot seats, which I don't, to go ahead and place her in the center in the back and that that would help her as well because it's equal both sides going by when she's looking forward. So hopefully that helps. This is very difficult to clean and I just noticed that this time because she threw up a lot of liquid, there is liquid in between the car seat and the base. This is a Graco Forever and come to find out after I researched it, you actually cannot take the Graco Forever car seat off of the base, which makes it extremely difficult in a situation like this when there is vomit in between the seat and the base. So I ended up having to go in there and put a uh, paper towel and of course I have tiny hands thank goodness because I was able to reach down in there it wasn't very pleasant to do would have been much easier just take the car seat off but you got to do what you got to do and then I had to go in through the back my husband ended up giving me a spatula because it's an even tighter squeeze down through the back 
and I pushed the paper towel up in there and sprayed it really good many, many times and used the hand sanitizer many, many times. There is my 21 month old. Uh, she is so super sweet and super happy. Now I am going in with the dishes. I'm gonna go ahead and knock these out of the way and get the other ones that are dried off of the counter. I'm going in now with the Wyman's Granite and Stone Cleaner. I absolutely love this stuff. It is very, very good at getting the counters clean. I have white counters, so I really have to make sure that they're very, very clean because you can see absolutely anything on them, and the Wyman's is perfect for that. So now that I'm done with the sink area, I'm gonna go ahead and put these dry dishes away. My husband is actually moving my shelves for me right now. Inside of the cabinets, you can always detach the pieces that hold the shelves up and take the shelves out, move those pieces to a different area and put the shelves back in so that you can suit it to however is best for you for whatever you're putting in there to store things away. He went ahead and moved mine up and it absolutely works so much better like that. So I'm so, so thankful. Here's Smadoosh hugging my leg. She is such a sweetheart, loving on mama. I love that. And hugging her sissy Noah. They are so, so sweet. Noah wanted some macaroni, so this is the mom life, guys. Okay, I clean and clean, but you're still gonna see some things that get put around here by the little ones or they come in and they're needing some things done so I need to stop what I'm doing obviously to take care of them and she wanted some macaroni so I went ahead and boiled some water then she wanted her hair done like Anna from Frozen so I had to go ahead and braid her hair before I continued finishing everything up with the cleaning I wanted to show you this strainer. You can attach it to the sides of any size pan. It is absolutely amazing. You just clip it on, it's so easy, and then just pour the water or whatever's in there out. And guys, you definitely need to get one. It is from Amazon. I will link it in the description box below this video. If you wanna go ahead and click on the link, it'll take you straight there. Here, the macaroni is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that to the girls and then move on to the cleaning. Free man, children of the Civil War. Blackbird on a limb, both of them diving in deeper than they've been before. And I So our dog, Obi, loves marshmallows. That is his favorite snack. We do not give him a lot because it is not good for him, but we do give them to him sometimes. So these were actually opened and I noticed that they were getting hard the last time I gave him one. So I just wanted to go ahead and get them out, put them in a Ziploc bag, and of course he smelled them. So I definitely had to give him some. Good boy. Down, roll over. Come on. Good boy. It's a very smart dog. My husband thinks that he shouldn't have to do tricks for treats, so he says, but I don't look at it that way. I look at it as he loves to do tricks. It makes him happy that he can do something that he knows, and so I just reward him for just being so awesome. So we have two different outlooks on it, but you know, that's how it is. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Wyman's glass top stove cleaner. This is the best thing that I've found to use. It comes with a scrubber and also a razor blade. So it works very, very nice for things that get stuck onto the glass plate of this stove. So you just scrub it off with this and whatever is still on there, you take the razor blade, which it will not scratch the surface, 
and you just scratch off the stuff that is really, really stuck on, and then you wipe it off, and that's it. And it looks like new when you're done. It's so shiny and so, so beautiful. I have tried many other things before I came across this, and since I've gotten this, I have not been in the field to look for anything else.